So now in recent videos we've been measuring uh, the current first uh, the current going through a red LED protected by a 220 ohm resistor at uh, 5 volts. Um, last uh, video we looked at the current going through the uh, 10 kilo ohm resistor there and the base to emitter which turns this circuit on. But right now we have the emitter open so that we can take one final current measurement. Probably final current measurement. Um, so I got it set to measure uh, milliamp. And now we're going to look at the combined current. This video though is going to be looking at the voltages of uh, this circuit. So we have to complete the circuit. I have it open. But there you can see we got about 13.6 uh, milliamps current, which we expect through the LED. Um, but you can see that it is going up. And uh, that's because the transistor is warming up. The LED is warming up. They're starting to conduct uh, better right there. The uh, base we uh, looked at the last video has approximately 0.43 milliamps of current going through it. So they're combining right now. About 0.43 of this milliamp of current is going through the base. The rest is going through the collector and the load right there. And now I move the uh, jumper uh, back up and you'll notice something interesting. It says 13 uh, milliamps right there before it said 12. Maybe we got a little bit better conduction because we are not uh, measuring it. The uh, probes when they are uh, touching the two spots to make a connection and parts of the meter probably added a tiny bit of uh, resistance that um, lowered the current uh, slightly for whatever reason. So we're going to uh, switch the meter to uh, voltage. Of course there's good reasons um, but you know that's uh, stuff you learn about later. So we have uh, voltage and uh, milliamps right there. Red probe stays there for everything but high current with this particular meter. Other meters may be different. So we are interested in voltages. So let's get back to uh, the basic ones. And uh, so we got the supply voltage. So this will mostly be what's across uh, the LED and the transistor. And um, it's less than five volts, but we expect that. There's a little bit of resistance wherever we have a uh, connection uh, right there. And uh, so that's gonna absorb a tiny bit of voltage, but still we're dealing with five volts there. That's close enough to five volts, just to call it five volts. Now, uh, so that says 4.968. So let's look at the LED and the resistor by themselves. There you can see it is a uh, slightly lower there. Uh, so that's uh, 24, whereas uh, this one was uh, 70. So as I think that's like 45, 40 to 45 it looks like. So that should be the voltage now across the transistor while it is on. So ideally there would be zero volts across here. That would be a perfect conductor, but there you can see about 0 0.045 approximately volts right there. Uh, 43 millivolts. So those voltages are adding up. We also have uh, the voltage across these two components, 4.923. There's going to be about two volts, but it won't be exact across the LED. And there we go. Pretty, pretty good. Uh, at uh, about close to 15 milliamps, you should have relatively close to two volts across it. It changes slightly with how much current's going through the LED. And uh, the rest of the voltage now, that was across the two of them, is going to be across the resistor right there, 2.9. So we've gone over that before, but now we looked that the transistor, even though it's on, probably about as good as it can be, still uh, takes some of the voltage away from the load. Now we're going to look at, uh, we have the uh, current setting resistor for the base right there. The uh, base drops about 0.7 volts. And uh, so... Well, uh, there we go. There you can see it's actually uh, 0.7. So at lower currents, um, these uh, it's technically a diode, the base two emitter. Um, it's usually like 0.6 volts, but uh, yeah, it's actually uh, 0.7 and a little bit more right there. So um, 0.7 for uh, this particular transistor anyways is the way to look at that. And also uh, what the load is over there might uh, make a difference. So the rest of the voltage goes across the resistor. And we did the Ohm's Law formula. We uh, calculated probably about uh, 4.3 volts across here. And um, it was actually uh, slightly uh, lower right there, as you can see, uh, 4.2. So this is a 10,000 ohm resistor, which means that uh, you take that voltage divided by 10,000, and that should give you about uh, 0.42, uh, basically 5 milliamps of 
current, a little less than half of a milliamp of current going through here. But now we're looking at the voltage instead of measuring the current. And of course, whenever you're done with the meter, turn it off. I was done with that last scene, um, but we're still gonna measure voltage. So I'm setting it to a uh, voltage. Again, if there's numbers, uh, different voltages you can use, make sure it's set to a higher voltage than you can expect to measure. Now, uh, the transistor's on. You can easily turn it off by cutting the uh, base to emitter current. Now we're gonna look at the voltages while it's off, but there are some challenges. And um, so we're gonna zoom in. Right here, so you can see the LED is off uh, completely right there. Uh, pretty straightforward. That's a little reflection from the uh, dim light, and uh, so I'm going to turn the light of the uh, lamp back up. Now uh, we got voltage. So we uh, pretty much need to get our voltages in relationship to ground. So the LED is off uh, right now, uh, which means there's no voltage difference across the uh, resistor. So you can see we got about 3.5 across the transistor. Well, it is off out of uh, five volts uh, total. Um, but uh, remember the LED drops about 1.5 volts when there's uh, hardly to no current uh, going across it. And um, so you need to exceed about 1.5 volts before any current will flow through. So there you can see that rest of that voltage, as we said before. Unfortunately, we can't measure it directly because uh, we, the uh, probably acting like an antenna right now probably uh, picking up stray voltage maybe there's a little capacitive effect uh, with the LED or whatnot um, so the voltages have to be in relationship to ground um, but uh, the resistor we can actually check no currents flowing through it so we got zero volts across it and now when it comes uh, to the base um, so we cut the current remember this is a current controlled device you need a little bit of base current for a lot of collector current to flow it's kind of a percentage. So if it has a 100 uh, gain, that means for one amp of current you want to flow through there, you need 1% of an amp of current to flow base to e emitter. Uh, That's if it's a 100 gain. It's probably, you know, 200 to 300. Um, but uh, worst can, case scenario might be 100. So you want about 1% going base to e emitter, as you expect from collector to emitter. So if we measure the voltage, Fortunately, you're gonna see a voltage there, and even worse, you're gonna see that the uh, transistor is glowing a little bit. I can make it glow with my finger, too. So, it's acting like an antenna, picking up stray signals in the air. So that's a problem. What we can do is uh, take the resistor, turn it into a pull-down resistor. So, if you wanna make sure that a transistor stays off, um, you get a pull-down resistor. Often it's 10K right there. It'll work fine. And there you can see, now we have a zero volts and the transistor is off uh, completely. Again, that's just glow from the overhead light, and uh, which is uh, pretty pretty dim. I can see better than what's showing there, um, but uh, the camera doesn't pick up the light from that uh, very well. So, in any case, no voltage difference. Base to emitter means no current, which means there will be no uh, current through the load. Fortunately, the LED has some uh, voltage drop, so it's throwing off the measurement. If we get rid of that and just put the uh, resistor there now to the collector of the transistor. Again, I'm using a 2N2222 uh, right there. We covered that in earlier videos. But now we will have the full supply voltage there across uh, the transistor. It, it is off fully, but there's not another uh, voltage drop component LED that is uh, you know, absorbing uh, some of the voltage as well. The uh, resistor doesn't have a voltage drop. It accepts whatever voltage uh, you give it and passes along, uh, you know, the rest. But uh, in any case, there you can see, transistor's off fully. It's blocking the current fully, which wasn't as obvious with the LED, but uh, hopefully that makes sense now. So in any case, uh, that's all I really wanted to focus on in this video was the uh, voltages across the transistor when it was on and off. Now that's the NPN bipolar junction transistor the 2N2222 in this case. There's other transistors with the other electrical properties. And then the PNP bipolar junction transistors have uh, the same properties, but current flows in the opposite direction. You have opposite uh, polarities when it comes to the collector base and emitter and uh, different transistors have different pin layouts. So, um, you know, it's all stuff you learn over time. You won't learn all that in one video. So I'm not gonna try to cover it 
in one video just be aware that it exists you want to learn as much as you can one thing at a time though so in any case hope you enjoyed make sure you check out one of the other videos i'm posting the screen and check out the links down below they all help out a lot i'll see you in the next video